Yes, folks. I know. You're sick and tired of me rollerblading. I know. But I'm having a great time. And you know something? It makes me feel good. Because I'm doing what they call exercise. And I'll tell you, honestly, coming from Rick Sykes, which is me, I'm telling you right now, you got to do it. I don't care how old you are, how young you are, how skinny you are, how obese you are, you gotta do it. And I'll tell you why. Coming from a guy who didn't do much exercise years and years and years ago growing up, but I'll tell you what I've finally realized. It's like a well-oiled machine. You know, you got a machine, you keep it oiled, next thing you know, is it keeps on going and going. But when you don't oil that machine, woof, you know what happens? It ain't good, it ain't good. So, you know, even if you do it just a little bit, I mean, just a little bit, just to, just enough to keep your heart, well, more than it's normally at resting period. You know, just to get it going. You know, get a little sweat. Uh, it's it's good for you. And please believe me. I mean, look at If I had the choice, I'd much prefer sitting down and watching an old Dracula movie or something like that. I mean, to me, that's a great day. But the body doesn't think so. The body has to keep on moving. And that's why I'm telling you folks, as crazy as it sounds, you know, I mean, a lot of people look at me and say, wow, Rick, you're in good shape. Well, yeah, I'm always on the, I'm always on the go. And I gotta tell you something. Just, I was at a great party last night and a girl came up to me and said, she, <laughs> this, this is pretty interesting. She came up to me and said, are you taking the, that, uh, what, uh, some kind of a, of a electronic injection. And yeah, I'm, I mean, that's what it was presented to me as. And she showed me the pictures. And I said, what is that? She goes, well, I guess you're not taking it. I said, no, but what is it? And it's, they put a chip inside you and it hits your electrodes or someplace in your body. And it actually gives you energy um, it makes your, well, how can I say this? It's so weird. I mean, I don't know what's going on this nowadays, you know? It is so weird. So, uh-oh, rollerblading? <laughs> but whatever it is, it's crazy, you know? And she was telling me, she had all the, all the uh, schematics on it and what it does to you and what it does for you. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it was like a blue chip and they put it into your body somewhere. And, I mean, how strange is this world getting? You know, I mean, think about it. I know my grandparents, when my grandfather was 70, 80 years old, hey, big thing was for him was chopping up strawberries. <laughs> All right, today, 70, 80, you're out running a marathon. Yeah, things have changed a lot. And for the better, in some cases, and not for the better in other cases. You know, I consider the old days when, when you didn't lock your doors, uh, if you were drunk, a cop would take you home. Um, I mean, I consider that living. Today, you know, if you don't lock your doors, your house is ransacked. Or you find people living there and tell you, you can't come in your own house. <laughs> true, very true, and you know that. <laughs> or if you don't lock your car, everything's gone, including the steering wheel. I mean, today people make money on your steering wheel even. Or the, the, air, the, uh, the airbags. People actually will steal your airbags out of your car. Why? For money. 
crazy, but it's true. And you all know that. Very, 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 very true. I mean, listen, everything, everything is different from the time I was a kid. And I'm sure you people who were like 15 to 20 years old, you watch what's gonna happen to you in 20, 30 years. You're gonna sit there and say, holy mackerel, things have changed. And I'd like to know from you, have they changed for the better or for the worse? You know? Listen, it's the old, the good and the bad. I know, you know, we all know that. You know, some things are good, some things are bad. You know, you take it as it is. But I'll tell you very honestly, if you grew up like I did, people will tell you that growing up in the 70s and 80s, being a kid in those days, that was the time to be a kid. You know, you trusted people, people trusted you. There wasn't the craziness that there is today. No way. I mean, you know, you actually trusted people and you had no problem. Today, forget it. You know, you can't trust anybody anymore. And that sucks. So, yeah, computers have made things kind of easy in some aspects and kind of more difficult in other aspects. Well, I'll tell you, I liked Superman. I liked the Lone Ranger. I like Yogi Bear. Those are the things I liked. Today, I don't know any of this stuff. You know, you talk about Superman to people, people all they think is, oh, what drugs is this guy on? <laughs> and you know that's true. So folks, you know what? If you were around when I was a kid, you know, you'd know how much I appreciate life. And I wish you all the best. And hey, just remember this, 30, 40 years from now, Rick Sykes telling you this, and see how much your life is gonna change in 30 or 40 years from now. Then again, who knows? You may be on planet Mars by then. <laughs> and honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Everybody have a great weekend. It's a pleasure to join you as always. Have a great time. Rick Sykes rollerblading away. Oh, and please, please, Buy my book. It's selling, selling well. It's called Drugs and Roses by none other than me, Rick Sykes. See you guys, ciao.